Hello, grade 5 learners. Welcome to my science class. We are now in quarter 3, week 1. For today's lesson, we are going to describe the motion of an object by tracing and measuring its change in position over a period of time. Our learning objectives for knowledge Describe the motion of an object. Skill. Apply force to an object. Attitude. Be cautious to moving objects like vehicle, construction sites, and others. And now, to start with, let me see if you can follow directions. Number one. Get any handy object you see around. Number two, apply the push and pull to the object. Push the object, then pull. Number three, stand at the back of your chair. Four, apply the push and pull to the chair. Push the chair, then pull. What happens to the object and the chair after you apply the push and pull? That's right. The object and the chair move. Body movements are necessary in making ourselves active. Motion and energy are relatively important in our daily life. With this, we can do our task well. It is fun playing with our friends, especially with traditional Filipino games like Patintero, Pico, Luksong Tinik, Sipa, and Kadang Kadang. We run, we climb, we jump, we kick, we exert force. Forces help us in our daily activities. Without them, no motion can be achieved. Without motion, we cannot do work and enjoy life. It seems that everything is moving. From the time you wake up until you go to sleep, all our activities involve movement. What is motion? Motion is a change in the position of an object over time. How do you know something is in motion or has moved? You use a reference point. A stationary object such as a tree, street sign, or a line on the road. Just like this. Did the beaver move? Yes, our reference point here is a tree. Observe the pictures below. Did the pencils move? If the reference point is a pile of books, the pencil changed its position. However, if the reference point is the pen holder, the pencils did not change position for they are still inside the pen holder. Identify the reference point that determines the presence of motion in the following. First picture. The reference point is the tree. Second picture. The reference point is the chair. Third picture. The reference point is house. What causes an object to move? A force. All motion is due to forces acting on objects. What is a force? It is a push or a pull.
In the next activity, you will learn how to measure how far have the object moved. Distance is an important factor in measuring motion. You can tell how fast or slow we are moving depending on the distance that you are taking. Speed, distance, and time. Distance is a measure of how far or near two points are from one another. Speed. It is a measure of how fast an object moves. It is measured in meters per second or kilometers per hour. Example, a cyclist travels 200 kilometers in 8 hours. What is the speed of the cyclist? The formula is... Speed is equal to distance over time. Given, distance is equal to 200 kilometers, time is 8 hours, and speed is unknown. Speed is equal to distance over time, that is 200 kilometers over 8 hours. The answer is... 25 kilometers per hour. Effects of speed and time on distance. The faster an object moves, the shorter time it takes for it to cover a certain distance. The slower an object moves, the longer it takes for it to cover the same distance. Let's do the activity and answer the questions that follow. There are a lot of moving objects around us. What will happen if you are not cautious and vigilant on the things around you? Remember, motion is a change in position with respect to a reference point. A reference point is important in understanding motion because it serves as a basis for which the movement of an object can be related to. Distance is a measure of how far or near two points are from one another. And now, do the following activities. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please like and subscribe.